were saying before, you know, you guys get in the holes that you can't climb out of. It has to be frustrating in that aspect. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's frustrating, but I'll, I'll never get down on our guys. I, Isaiah played a heck of a game tonight, you know. It's, it, it happens to teams sometimes. We just got to keep climbing and climbing, and eventually we'll get over that hump and we'll get out of that hole. With NEC play kind of winding down, do you guys kind of feel a sense of urgency? Um, yeah and no. I mean, I don't know how many games we have left, but we have to treat every game like like it's a Super Bowl because every win for us right now means a lot, actually. So I think that we want to have a sense of urgency, but we don't want to go in there thinking oh, we got to blow teams out and everything, so we just got to come in there and play our game. Offensively, second half, what did you guys do differently than you did the first half? We just tight gaps, got the paint. We were shooting a lot of jump shots in the first half, and uh, really wasn't getting into own movement. Second half, we just got in the paint and uh, got better shots. Isaiah, you've really uh, gone on uh, the tear these last couple of games. You're 23, second half points the other night. What's uh, starting to click for you? Oh, uh, just being patient with the boys. The only game coming to me. Um, and just sticking with the defense game. Early in the year, I was brushing the movie too much. Get in the gym and extra work and listen to my coaches. Maddie, it seems like, um, just from looking at the game, I mean, you and Isaiah seem to always be, you know, fighting and in the mix and, and you know, really trying. And sometimes it doesn't really look like the rest of the team has that kind of motivation. I mean, do you, what do you think that says about this team that you two freshmen are kind of the ones like leading the way, especially when you've got, you know, many and Stewart out? Um, I mean, it actually, it shows a lot. I mean, I wouldn't say that the guys aren't showing as much as we are. It's just that the player that Isaiah is and the player that I am, that no matter if we're up 100 or down 100, we're still going to play like it's a, a tie game. The clock's running down. So it's, I, I think we just, as the players that we are, we have a higher standard to the way we play than some other people on the team. Here, which one of you guys talked about? But Rodney doesn't look like the same player since coming back in the concussion. Um, what can you do to <laughs> motivate a senior as a freshman? Um, I think he just needs to get back in the gym, get his rhythm back. Uh, it's going to take time. You know, he was out for a few games. So uh, we just keep talking, keep talking to him, keep being positive. You know, uh, tell him to stay in the gym, tell him to stay positive. It's his senior year, so I'm sure he wants to go out better. You know, Matty, how's your shoulder? I know you saw it hurt a little bit in the first half. Came back in. Obviously, it didn't really bother you. Um, yeah, it hurts. I mean, it's the adrenaline in the game made it easy for me to go back in because I didn't. I wasn't just going to let my team just go out there and play. I needed to be back in there. And then it, no one knew it popped out in the second half again. But somehow, I turned around and someone hit me and it just popped back in. But I mean, it's. Uh, no matter what happens, I'm still going to fight. Manny, do you feel like a leader on this team? Because it looks like to me, you know, whenever you're on the court, you're always the one kind of gathering people into a huddle and you're the one talking. I mean, like, how much of that responsibility do you take on? Um, yeah, I, as as a freshman, I try to come in and help the guys out. But ever since I was in high school, that's always been, like, my thing that I would gather the team and make sure we're doing the right thing and everything. So, I mean, coming in as a freshman and doing it, it's – feels good, but I just like to make sure that all the guys are on the same page and we know we're going to do a great job. Defensively, you guys picked it up in the second half. How frustrating it is to play really good defense and, and they find a way to get a buzzer beater to get a point you know, right before the start point. I think some of that has to start with rebounding. Um, Brandon Field, 17 rebound, 10, 7 offensive rebounds. He was getting good stops and he just running down the ball. That was giving a lot of second chance points. Um, 